Welcome back to Encouraging Things. Today we're going to be turning an Xbox 360 controller into a Raspberry Pi Cyberdeck. The first thing we have to do is get the screws out of it. And then get the case apart. Once that's done, we just need to take out the motors. And then the control board. From the control board, we need the connector for the Xbox 360 chat pad, so we desolder it. I have an FTDI controller that came with a few of these cables, so I'm going to go ahead and snip the ends off and then strip them down. Once that's done, they are soldered together, which I will not show because my soldering is terrible. And here's a completed product. A quick thank you to all my patrons. It's wonderful that there are so many people out there who are willing to support me and my endeavors at making new content. I appreciate each and every one of them. If you do decide to become a patron, your name will appear in the videos. And of course, in order to support the channel, you can like, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment. As I start to reassemble, I use some hot glue to hold things in places and run the wires around through a few of the holes to make sure it's nice and stable. After that, I hook up the FTDI controller, a little bit more hot glue, and I put in the Raspberry Pi case. Once that's done, I hook up the FTDI to the USB port. Once we power it on and everything starts running, we can go ahead and test out the keyboard. This whole project took about a week to complete, the longest portion of it being having to code a Python script in order to run the chat pad through the FTDI and into the Raspberry Pi. It works about 90%. There are some buttons that aren't functioning properly or aren't translating properly, and there is sometimes a lag, and sometimes it doesn't work when it boots. But those are problems that I'll be working on in the next version, as this is currently just a prototype. The best part of this is that all the parts and pieces are available on Amazon and are fairly cheap to get. As this is a prototype, I wasn't going for a perfect build. However, this did show me some of the things that I would have to work with in order to make this slightly better, including making sure that I measure more properly when cutting apart the 360 controller case. There's also a section of the battery compartment underneath that the FTDI chip can fit into. However, it might be easier to get a smaller FTDI chip, although I utilize this one because of the 3.3 volt output. Of course, I am encouraging all of you to go ahead and build your own Cyberdeck utilizing these parts or any parts that you think might be good replacements. All of these are available on Amazon, and of course, there are links in the description so you can find the parts and make your own. And as always, thanks for watching.